The most familiar pteridophytes are the beautiful green ferns grown in every garden. They are abundant in forests and hill stations. They grow best in moist, shady, cool and humid. Tropical Conditions There are about 12,000 named species of ferns ranging from small aquatic plants to giant fames of Tropical forests that may grow to over 30 to 40 feet. Pteridophytes include horsetails and ferns. Important features They are basically land plants that grow well in moist, shady and cool places. The plant body is differentiated into true roots, stem and leaves. They have well-developed specialized tissues for conduction. Xylem transports water and phloem translocate food. The main plant body is a sporophyte which has true roots, stem and leaves with vascular tissue. The gametophyte is reduced to a simple small prothallus. The plants exhibit alternation of generation with the sporophyte being dominant. The stem of most ferns except tree ferns is an underground, horizontally growing rhizome. As it is underground, ferns are the first plants to appear after the forest. In may hostels or ferns aate hain. Ye medicine or solbinders ke roop mein use hote hain. Ya sajavti, ornamentals, paudho ke roop mein bhi frequently grow kiye jate hain. Ye pehle terrestrial plants hai, jin mein vascular tissues, xylem and phloem hote hain. Ye cool, damp or shady sthano par ukte hain. Kuch sandy soil mein bhi uk sakte hain. Hum pad chuke hain ki bryophyte ke life cycle mein gametophytic phase dominant hoti hai. Jabki pteridophyte mein dominant phase, sporophytic hoti hai, jis mein true root, stem or leaves hoti hai. In organs mein well differentiated, vascular tissues paya jata hai. The leaves in pteridophyta are small, microphylls, as in selginella or large, as in ferns. The sporophytes bear sporangia that are subtended by leaf-like appendages called sporophylls. In some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structures called strobili or cones, selginella, equisetum. The sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. The spore germinate to give rise to inconspicuous, small but multicellular, free-living, mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophytes called prothallus. These gametophytes require cool, damp, Shady places to grow. Pteridophytes may small leaves ko microphylls kehte hai. Example selginella. Pteridophytes may large leaves ko macrophylls kehte hai. May sporangia hote hai. Jo leaf like appendages dwara latke hote hai. Jin hai sporophylls kehte hai. Kuch cases may sporophylls compact structures banate hai. Jin hai strobili ya cones kehte hai. Dot spore mother cells may meiosis ke dwara sporangia, spores utpann karte hain. Spores germinate hokar inconspicuous, aspasht, gametophyte banate hain, inhe prothalus kehte hain. The gametophytes bear male and female sex organs called antheridia and archegonia, respectively. Water is required for transfer of antherozoids, the male gametes released from the antheridia, to the mouth of archegonium. Fusion of male gamete with the egg present in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote. Zygote thereafter produces a multicellular well differentiated sporophyte, which is the dominant phase of the pteridophytes. In majority of the pteridophytes, all the spores are of similar kinds, such plants are called homosporous. Genera like Selginella and Salvinia which produce two kinds of spores, macro, large, and micro, small, spores, are known as heterosporous. The megaspores and microspores germinate and give rise to female and male gametophytes, respectively.
The female gametophytes in these plants are retained on the parent sporophytes for variable periods. Gametophytes ko grow karne ke liye cool, damp or shady places ki avashakta hoti hai. In specific restricted requirement tatha fertilization ke liye water ko avashakta ke karan living pteridophytes ka fe yav solid or narrow geographical regions tak ho restricted rehta hai. Gametophytes ye male or female sex organs hoti hai. मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन को एंथरिडिया व फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन को आर्किगोनिया कहते हैं एंथरोजॉइड्स मेल गैमेट्स के ट्रांसफर के लिए वाटर की जरूरत होती है जो इसे आर्किगोनियम के माप तक किए जाती है एंथरोजॉइड आर्किगोनिया ये उपस्थित एक से लेकर जाइगोट बनाता है जाइगोट डेवलप होकर मल्टीसेल्यूलर वेल डिफ्रेंशिएटेड स्पोरोफाइट बनाता है टेरिडोफाइट्स में डोमिनेंट फेज स्पोरोफाइट होती है अधिकतर टेरिडोफाइट्स एक तरह के स्पोर्स उत्पन्न करते हैं और इस प्रकार के प्लांट्स को हम होमोस्पोरस कहते हैं कुछ टेरिडोफाइट्स दो प्रकार के पोर्स मैक्रो और माइक्रो उत्पन्न करते हैं उन्हें हम हेट्रोस्पोरस कहते हैं एग्जाम्पल सेलगिनेला एंड सेल्विनिया मेगास्पोर्स जर्मिनेट्स होकर फीमेल गैमेटोफाइट्स बनाते हैं तथा माइक्रोस्पोर्स जर्मिनेट होकर मेल गैमेटोफाइट्स बनाते हैं फीमेल गैमेटोफाइट्स पेरेंट्स स्पोरोफाइट्स पर वेरिएबल पीरियड तक लगी रहती है फीमेल गैमेटोफाइट में जाइगोट से यंग एम्ब्रियो का डेवलपमेंट होता है लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ सेलगिनेला अनिक्विसिटिम इन सेलगिनेला The main plant body called sporophyte gives out leaf-like appendages called sporophylls. The sporophylls form distinct compact structures called strobili or cones. These sporophylls bear sporangia that produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. Hence the spores are haploid. The spores germinate to give rise to an inconspicuous, small but multicellular, free-living photosynthetic thalloid gametophyte called prothallus when the spores are of one kind only the plant is called homosporous genera like selginella and salvinia produce two kinds of spores megaspores and microspores hence these plants are known to be heterosporous megaspores germinate into female gametophyte it is retained on the parent sporophyte for some time Microspores germinate into male gametophyte. Just like in ferns, the gametophytes bear male and female organs called antheridia and archegonia respectively. Water is essential for fertilization. Antheridia released in water reach up to archegonia and fuse with the egg cell forming zygote. Zygote produces a multicellular well differentiated sporophyte that is the dominant phase the development of zygote into young embryo takes place within the female gametophyte life cycle of ferns ferns also exhibit alternation of generation with the sporophytic generation being dominant fern plant is a diploid sporophyte it undergoes following sequence of events During certain times of year, fern fronds mature and have small brown dots on the underside close to the margin. The fronds are called sporophylls and the spots are called sori, singular sorus. Each sorus consists of several sporangia. Each sporangium contains a number of haploid spores which have been formed as a result of meiosis. On maturity, the sporangium ruptures, releasing the spores. When the spore falls on moist soil it germinates into a short green filament this grows into a heart shaped thalloid structure called prothallus which is a gametophyte th haploid gametophyte is inconspicuous small only about half an inch in width but multicellular and photosynthetic it does not contain any vascular tissue all its cells contain chloroplast Several rhizoids develop on the underside of the prothallus which anchor it and rise it above the surface. 
Male sex organs antheridia and female sex organs archegonia develop on the prothallus. Each mature antheridia gives rise to several motile sperms and each archegonia to one egg. The sperms swim in the water film and fuse with the egg forming a diploid zygote. The zygote divides repeatedly and forms an embryo which develops into a young sporophyte. The development of zygote into young embryo takes place within the female gametophyte. This event is precursor to the seed habit found later, an important step in evolution. The young sporophyte still draws nourishment from the gametophyte. Soon a young sporophyte establishes its own roots and young leaves and develops into a fern plant which is independent and may grow for years. The gametophyte withers and dies.